Hi friends, I've been getting people commenting on my Ranked Explained videos saying it's still easy to rat to Predator in Apex Legends Season 18. So in today's video, I'm going to do the maths and test out that theory to see how many games it would take you to get to Predator. By the way, when I say rat, for the purpose of this video, I just mean earning placement points alone. Firstly, you'll need to know what placement points are available for Season 18, and you would have seen this in my previous videos. You can see the amount of placement points available is significantly lower than last season. It's also worth noting the entry cost is now at 50 compared to 35 last season. If you keep that in mind and now look at this table, you can see the LP brackets needed to hit each rank. And the Predator cap here is just based on what my guesstimate is for the end of the season. Okay, so now you know the points available that you can earn through placements, and also how many are needed for each rank. So now we can look at how many games it would take you to rat to Predator. I'm going to give you two examples. This first one here is for averaging first place finishes across all your games. As it's 4000 LP per rank, it would take 27 games to get through each rank. In total, that's 162 games to get you to Masters. To compare this to last season, the same first place average would have taken you 120 games to reach Masters, essentially meaning in Season 18, it's taking you 42 games longer to get to Masters. Now I'm talking about Predator, as I mentioned the Pred cap is just a guesstimate that I'm going with 50,000, and that's just because the number one Predator on PC is currently at 50,000. So if it's based on this, by the end of the season it would take 333 games to get from Masters to Predator. In total, that's 495 games to get from Bronze to Predator. Obviously it's possible your placement games might actually put you higher than Bronze, and that would mean it would take you slightly less games. If you compare this to last season's figure, obviously the total figure of 495 is 5 games less than the 500 it would have taken you last season. But I can explain why that's the case. I've used a 50,000 guesstimate for the purpose of this video, but that 500 games is actually based on a 100,000 pred cap in season 17, because obviously it was easier to earn points, the pred cap was going to be much higher. If we do a like for like comparison on that same cap though of 100,000 points, you'll find the season 18 figure goes up to 666 games to get from Masters to Predator, and in total it would then be 828 games in total for season 18. So for a like for like comparison, it's going to take 328 games more in season 18 than season 17. And essentially what that means is season 18, even if you're averaging the same as what you did in season 17, is going to take you significantly more games just through placement points alone. I wanted to show you a second example though just to reiterate this and I think it's a lot clearer with this second example. In this table you can see an average of 5th place placement points and if you look there it takes 438 games to reach Masters and in total 1347 games to get from Bronze to Predator. That's a lot of games, it's over 30% more games than you would have had to play last season. You're going to have to have a lot of free time if you're going to be able to grind this many games. Now I should say I know in reality the likelihood is your points per game are going to fluctuate. But this gives you at least a rough idea of if you are just ratting and really not getting any kills and just focusing on placement points, this gives you an idea of how many games it would take you. And this goes to the reason I wanted to make this video. You can clearly see here how many games it's going to take you, and it's certainly a lot more than Season 17. So is it as easy as last season? Definitely not. And I'm hoping this is going to discourage a lot of you from ratting, knowing how hard it's going to be. Because personally, as a solo queue player, it's just the most annoying thing to have a teammate go and sit in a tree, but I guess we'll have to wait and see how things play out through season 18. I hope you found this video interesting, it took me a while to work out these calculations, so I appreciate you watching everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.